Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is super exciting because I have a couple of days in my life that I think you guys are really gonna like. I'm at the beach, I'm working from home. Um, it's like the staple of what I do here on this channel. But this video is also exciting because this is sponsored by FabFitFun and I could not be more excited to partner with FabFitFun for this video. So I wanna talk a little bit about them first and then we will get into the video. So this is what my FabFitFun box looks like. I think it is so cute. I have literally been waiting to open this on camera and I kinda of know what's already in here because I want to go through and pick some of my products that were in here. FabFitFun is a seasonal subscription box with full size products in here. So there's lifestyle, there's beauty, there's hair. You can even get like kitchen appliances full size. The value of a box can get up to $300 and like some of the products that you might choose for a box are sometimes even like one product might be worth more than the value of like the whole box, which is just crazy. But um, the seasonal subscription cost is $54.99 a season. So you'll get like a new box each season. So this is obviously their summer box. How cute with all the little popsicles. So um, their summer box, they're calling it a radical summer, which I literally love that. And I'm so ready for a radical summer. I've worked with FabFitFun in the past. And after that, I had so many friends come up to me and say that they got these for like their daughters, their roommates. It's a great graduation present too. Um, just like this membership for someone, because like I said, you do get the full size of products at such a good rate like if you got these products at any other stores like it would not cost 54.99 okay so much stuff in here let's go through this so the first thing that i got is cuticle oil and this is from kukio natural um this is their milk and honey cuticle oil i don't know if you guys know this but i've been like my doing my own nails lately so like hang on let me just flex really quick i did those isn't that crazy? Like I've just been really into doing my nails. So I definitely wanted a cuticle oil for when I'm done my nails and I want to post them on Instagram. Um, it just makes them look a lot better. And also just feels really, really good. Cause my cuticles, I pick at them a lot and they're really dry. So I picked up a cuticle oil. I can't wait to try that. Oh, this is a sea salt and citrus aromatherapy candle. Literally thank God because I'm about to go down to the beach. So I need like beach candles. Mm, it smells so good. So I got this candle from Lasting Smile, Sea Salt and Citrus. This I am so excited about because I picked this one out. So this is the Way Scalp and Body Scrub. I don't have anything from Way. No, that's all. I have one hair product from Way, but everyone always talks about like how good everything smells from Way. And I got this because I have a spray tan on right now and like it's still like on my face, but like my body's like very much so like really shedding this spray tan off. So I really just need to get in there and like scrub it off. So I got this for like an exfoliant for spray tans and also before self tanning that it's just gonna be like awesome, but I really wanna smell it because everyone says how good way smells. Mmm, oh my god, okay, love this. And I know that like way is really expensive and like guys, this is literally a full size product that I got in the FabFitFun box. Like this alone. Okay, what else did I get? Um, oh, I got IGK Legendary Dream Hair and Conditioner. So excited about this because I'm literally running low on both of my shampoos and conditioners. IGK is like literally so awesome. I hear such great things about IGK and I've used their products in the past and I really love it. So full size shampoo conditioner, literally so awesome. I think I'm gonna bring those down to the beach and put them in the outdoor shower. Okay, this is a full size Fenty Beauty Mascara. And this is box load that can come out a better time because I'm running low on everything. I'm like super low on mascara right now. So this is a Fenty Beauty mascara. I don't want to open it because isn't it like when you open it, your expiration date starts for your mascara. So I'm not going to open it yet, but this is like so cute. So pretty, literally a full size mascara in a box. Amazing. Oh my God, this is perfect. So this is a body scrubber from KO and this will go perfect with my way oh my god that like could not be more perfect so yeah this you just like use it as like a body scrubber so um and again for like exfoliating and getting off spray tins and stuff like this is it okay and the last thing that's in my box is the anastasia matte lipstick and the sh in the shade velvet i don't have any anastasia lipstick so this is very exciting for me so cute like literally the perfect shade so perfect that is so gorgeous. I'm going to um, pick up my friend's jump, jumpsuit today for her wedding. And I need to like obviously do a little bit of makeup before I do that. So I'm gonna try out this and the Fenty mascara today and I'm so excited. So all of that came in my FabFitFun box. That is up to a value of 
$100 that I got for literally $54.99. So with the seasonal box, you get to customize four products out of your entire box. But if you pay the annual membership, which is $199.99 a year, you get to customize your entire box. So you get to seriously pick like everything that goes in your box and that also comes seasonally. But if you like um, to be surprised, which kudos to you because I'm not a girly that likes to always be surprised. But if you do like to be surprised, I like that you live life on the edge, FabFitFun um, will customize their own box for you. What's also really cool is that FabFitFun offers refills. So if you have a product that you got in your box that you absolutely love and you want a refill of it, you can set that up through FabFitFun. And um, they also have member sales of like their products up to 70% off full size products up to 70% off from a member sale. It's like, it's amazing. A lot of the brands that are with FabFitFun are female founded. So I get to discover a lot of brands that I might not have known about before. I get to try a lot of new products that I might not have purchased myself. And like this, I probably would have never bought, but now that I have it, I'm really glad I do. So if you guys wanna get a FabFitFun box that is up to $300 in value at a way cheaper rate, you guys can use my code TORYD10 for $10 off your first box at FabFitFun.com. I'm gonna have all this link down below so that the link's there, my code's there, everything is gonna be down below. I really love FabFitFun and I'm so excited to try out these products and um, I'll keep you guys updated on them. But yeah, thank you FabFitFun for sponsoring. Now let's get on to the rest of Hello. the video. Hello. Hi guys, can anyone tell where I am? I'll give you a hint. So I'm down at the beach, but specifically, I'm down at my Sea Isle studio, which is literally heaven on freaking earth. What is this? Do I have like a pimple forming? No, um, literally heaven on earth here. It is just the best. I'm just so incredibly happy whenever I'm here. I literally just look down and this Polaroid of Katie is staring back at me, which is so funny. Um, it's so funny. <laughs> we wrote that. So um, this studio has not been in use since September. It is now the middle of April. It's Easter weekend. So I'm down here this weekend to shoot, well, one for Easter because my family's celebrating Easter down here at the shore, but also because tomorrow we are shooting an announcement video and go follow strides the aisle on instagram um i'm also probably going to post it on my personal instagram too but um we are doing matt pilates on the beach this year in addition to just spin classes so now we're a spin and pilates studio and i am so excited about it um so literally the beach is right there like we're oceanfront so the beach is right in front of us and inside this studio i don't have room for like another fitness room um so i was like well i may as well just do it on the beach um and the city approved it so that is so exciting i guess i could always like do it in here but anyway besides the point so we're doing it on the beach this year so i want to announce it like really cute really fun so um we're doing a video shoot tomorrow and it's going to go up on our instagram in like may sometime but i am just so so excited but there's a lot to do before the video shoot tomorrow um i just have to make the studio look presentable because it's been in hibernation since like i said april so it's not going to be perfect but it just needs to look okay on camera and then obviously once may hits i'm going to like get a whole crew in here and like professionally clean it and get like everything good so today I am just prepping the studio, um, hanging up mats because I got mats for Matt Pilates. So we're going to hang those up. Um, I'm currently just working on the spin room, cleaning out the spin room. And the girls are starting to come around two o'clock today. And we're going to do a um, training class with one of our new instructors this year. Her name is Faith. She was here last year. But um, yeah, so her mock class is going to be today. So I need to make sure the headphones are working, the sound system is working. But more importantly are the bikes and they need some TLC because they are a little, um, a little beat up. Well, not beat up, they're just a little like dusty and just need some love. So I'll show you what they look like right now. So I just went through and dusted all the bikes and I also rearranged the room because I wanted to get more bikes in here. So now I have 30 in here um, instead of 27. So there's me, hi. Um, my yoga pants are from Aloe, I'll link them below. These are white Converse and this is a tank top from Amazon. And um, I also have like a little throw over, but it is seriously like the nicest day ever out right now. So yeah, I just dusted all of the bikes and now I'm just gonna go through, clean the bikes, tune the bikes, 
And then that should be it for the bikes. And then these floors are like so dirty. Um, so I need to clean these floors, which is so crazy because no one's been in here. So, but there's a bunch of footprints in here. I think it's the maintenance men. I think they just like come in and hang out, which I don't really care. But um, yes, yeah, so I need to do the floors. And then after that, I'm gonna Windex the mirrors and then check the sound system. And then hopefully that should bring me to like right about two o'clock, if not a little sooner. And then those windows right here really need to be washed. So I'm gonna scrub those windows. But really everything just needs to be working by two o'clock so that we can do our class. So I figured I would just do a time lapse so that I work harder and faster. But enjoy the weekend. I think this is gonna be such a fun vlog. I never really vlog down at the shore because it's just always like my vacation, it feels like. But I'm working this weekend, girl. So I'll show you what it looks like. I'm also putting my dad to work. You can't really tell because my camera won't focus, but I put my dad to work. <laughs> I swear. Wait, oh my god, I just changed the channel. Uh, sorry. Wait, how do you actually do it though? Because I need <laughs> it. It's on, on. the channel. And I know that that's wrong. Where's this channel? Yeah, you're on two. Uh, and that goes on the left, right? Yeah, you're on. Okay. You're right. There you go. There she is. Well, that was a fail. I filmed like nothing. I honestly just got like carried away and totally forgot. And then like halfway through, I'm like, oh my God, I have to film. And then I don't know where my camera was and it was chaotic energy going on for sure. I don't think I've ever vlogged a day or like a week of like an actual beach day. I've always filmed like before or after the season like getting ready for the season but i've never filmed like during the season um just like a couple things for like tiktok when i had it or sorry if that was gross <laughs> or of instagram while i have or of like instagram reels and stuff i don't think i've ever filmed like during the season there so I'm really excited to show you guys like what my life is like 
down at the beach. Anyway, that's that's the summer at the beach. Um, hang on. I'm gonna go for a walk right now. Oh, it's Monday morning. Good morning, everyone. It's like 7.45 on Monday morning. Last Monday, I woke up early and I went for, okay, why is this doing this? It was like perfect. Last night, it's always the way. Last Monday, I took, like I woke up early and took a walk and it was awesome, like last Monday morning because I had so many ideas come to me on that walk that stuck with me all week. So I'm going to do the same thing today, go for a think walk and just see what ideas come to me. I'm going to invite them in, welcome them, but not put any pressure on it. If they come, awesome. If they don't, it's okay. But I'm loving walking. I walked four days last week and it was freaking awesome. And so I want to walk. My goal is to walk every day this week. Oh no, what, did I walk five days last week? Wait, did I walk Friday? No, I was at the beach on Friday. Yeah, Friday was the day I filmed that clip and I was like literally running around the studio all day. So I hit my step goal, which is kind of like a walk, you know what I mean? And then Saturday we filmed the video. Oh, Saturday was like crazy because we filmed the promo shoot video. And then um, we all went to the zoo and there's like a zoo at the beach, which I don't know why, but it's literally so funny to me that we're like at the zoo and there's like cheetahs and lions and like goats. I don't know. It just absolutely makes no sense to me and it is like so funny. So we went to the Cape May County Zoo and, oh no, the Cape May Courthouse Zoo. I don't know. I think it's Cape May Courthouse Zoo. So funny. And then we came back home, went to my dad um took me and my friends on like a brewery bar crawl and i hung i hung you know i hung with the boys that day i really did i drank beer and i normally don't drink beer but i drank beer and um it wasn't horrible but i remember why i don't drink beer because the next morning which was yesterday i was like in the morning just not feeling my best like my stomach does not really like beer, but I hung with the boys and that was really fun. And we went to like three really cool breweries. It was so fun. I had a great time and I was so proud of myself. But when I got back, I was like literally exhausted. But then I also went out to um, this bar in Avalon called the Princeton. And I was with my friend Lauren and um, I met her up for a drink and it was so freaking fun. So like literally I was up on Saturday from like 5.30 until like 1.30 a.m. Such a long day on Saturday, but it was so fun. Also hit my step goal. Woo! And then yesterday was Easter and I wanted to wake up early and do a beach walk, but literally I was so exhausted. Um, we had brunch at 11.30 and I didn't get out of bed until like 10.30. So I was beyond exhausted yesterday. So didn't get, didn't get time for a beach walk, but totally fine. But yesterday we um, went to the yacht club for, la uh, for brunch and then um, just like uh, met up with some other friends later in the day and did brunch with them and like dinner with them and that was super fun. And then um, I got back late here, like late last night, like 10 o'clock. So it's been a couple of days. I'll tell you guys what, but now today's Monday and we are getting after it today. So I'm going to go for a walk and then I have to do some work things. You guys know it's Monday. So I'm going to work today. Um, and then tonight I'm teaching, um, at 5 30, I'm teaching spin with Chelsea and we're doing a limited two ride. It's going to be so fun. It'll be up on stride at home if you guys want to do it too. Um, I'll let you guys know when that video is going to go up, but that's going to be so fun. So normally for my walks, I like to look a little cute, but today, um, it's a little cold out. Also, I got a spray tan on Wednesday and it looks like it's like really fading in my face, but it actually looks pretty natural in my face. Um, I won't lie, but my body is still like so dark and so tan from this self tan. I mean, spray tan, which is literally amazing. Um, I can't believe it's lasted this long. I mean, granted, I got it Wednesday and now it's Monday, so it's only five days. But I, um, I've i showered every day and it's like barely gotten later. So I wanted to show you guys my outfits and stuff for my walks because I get a lot of questions about it on my Instagram. I've been so active on my Instagram stories. Um, I think you guys are going to be so proud. Okay, here's what I look like going on my hot girl walk. The only reason I have my um, belt bag out 
on my sweatshirt instead of underneath of it is because I actually use wire headphones and um, I just put them in here and I just need the wire. <laughs> so that's literally the only reason, but dude, who cares what you look like on your walks? Like even if you feel great or like I feel really good just walking in this, like I can just really get my steps in right now. So I feel good, man. The walks are, should be the easy part of your day. Not the easy part the fun part every day. You should look forward to this part of your day. It should not stress you out. So, what time is it? Oh, 8.10. I'm gonna go for my little walkie. Um, I'm not gonna bring my camera though because that won't fit in my belt bag with everything. So, I'll vlog on my phone, but you guys also know that I don't really vlog that much in public, but I'll try my best. I'm out here and it is absolutely freezing. Um, I have no idea how it got so cold because last week I was literally on this trail in a sports bra and biker shorts because it was so freaking hot and now i'm so cold literally bundling my hands up but it's okay i'm almost to mile one but i'm just gonna walk for an hour which is like a mile and a half ish out and back but i really just see 30 minutes 30 minutes which comes out normally to like right around three miles so so freaking cold walk with grapes freezing so now i'm blasting heat Right now I'm just drinking a matcha and planning out my week a little bit because I didn't get to do that last night because I got home like so late. It's now noon. I honestly forgot I was vlogging. I got in like such a flow working. I actually did, um, I did a lot this morning. It just feels good to be like in a grind and in the flow. You know what I'm really missing these days is Salt Lake City Housewives and Beverly Hills Housewives. I stopped watching Vanderpump Rules once they all like got money and like moved to their houses and stuff because it just felt like so different. Like they were really growing up. So I stopped watching it then, but I think I'm gonna start it again. I just missed like my trashy TV in the middle of the day. I totally think that the spin world should have a reality TV show. You guys would not believe the spin world. It's like a crazy world, and I think it would make great TV. It would completely knock um, Dance Mom on its ass, and especially having it be taken place at the beach. Who wouldn't love to see that? It's like Jersey Shore, but not at Seaside Heights, <laughs> because Seaside Heights is very different than Sea Isle. It's, li it's on two different ends of the coast. Like we're Southern Jersey and that's pretty much like New York. It's like very Northern Jersey, very different, but it would make for great TV. And there's spin worlds, there's spin studios literally across the country. So you could always have, you could have characters from all across the country. I mean, even all over the world, like Mexico right now is blowing up with spin. They are killing the indoor spin game. So yeah, if anyone wants to produce a reality TV show about spin studios and maybe a spin studio that's at the beach, hit a girl up. I have so many ideas and trust me, it'll be a killer hit TV show. And if you guys know anyone, send this to them. My email's below, toritrillingpr.gmail.com. And let's make good TV people. This is what the people want to see. Trust me. Anyway, I made my oatmeal. So now I'm going to go eat it. You guys, this limited two playlist is so good. I'll give you a little taste. Hey now, hey now. to go so Chelsea's gonna do my hair um, 
She's gonna do like these little twists. It's gonna be so cute. Wednesday morning now um, Yesterday was obviously Tuesday yesterday was like literally nothing eventful, which is why I didn't vlog I, I barely did anything yesterday. I dropped off my car for a car inspection um, And then I honestly laid low for a lot of yesterday. I just wasn't feeling the best yesterday and I Just kind of took a like a little day off because this past weekend I was like crazy busy So I kind of wanted a day so I kind of took that day yesterday Today I'm back. Today's Wednesday, but last night I did go and I feel so much better. Like I needed a day. I think I just needed a rest to be honest, but anyway, I feel so much better. Um, I'm just a little like congested, but I think it's the weather and the allergies and stuff. So all good there. But last night I went to the mall because I have a friend's bridal shower this Sunday, but I ended up not getting anything for the bridal shower, like for me to wear. Um, and I went to Aritzia instead and I want to show you guys what I got from Aritzia because I am actually, because everything I got was like athletic wear and Aritzia athletic wear is very quickly becoming my new favorite athletic wear um, just because of one, the price, it's just so much cheaper. Like a pair of bike shorts here are $38 and I like them so much more than the Lululemon ones and Lululemon bike shorts are like what 54 60 62 something like that like they're almost double the price so um i really like aritzia athletic wear so i got a lot these are my favorite bike shorts right now the tna butter and these are the cheeky five inch bike shorts now because these are butter these definitely feel like a line fabric um and you're technically like not supposed to like spin or do any workouts in this fabric but I do and it's amazing. So I think I got two of these, two or three of these. Then I got three of these like little tank tanks, but they're like, they're like sports bras. Like they're the length of like a sports bra. So these are just really awesome. I got these all in a size medium. Um, I got that in a black. I got that in a white. And I got it in a tan so cute and you guys like i live in biker shorts and like crop tops in the summertime so this is gonna be like summer for me because it's just it's so easy so i'm getting into golf um i just think it's gonna be a really good summer activity my dad golfs my mom golfs and i just think it's like a good thing to do with family and just something fun to do this summer down the shore and also my parents live on a golf course, so they are very like golf oriented. So, and I wanna learn, I feel like it's time for me to learn. So I got cute golf clothes. So I got this skirt, which I think is just like literally the cutest thing ever. I got a size medium, it looks a little big. Um, I, maybe I could have gotten away with a small, but it'll be totally fine. And then I got this top to go with it. It's a, um, they did this like, I think this is like a tennis line, but tennis and golf like can do the same. Um, it's a collared top. It's in white and it's cropped. But um, the girl at the store said that it matches like the line of the skirt. So it's not gonna look like too cropped, but I'm also 24, I can get away with it, right? Um, so yeah, I think this shirt is gonna be so cute on the golf course and I don't have golf shoes, but I think I'm just gonna wear my Reebok sneakers. I got this pastel blue 
golf dress. This dress is so cute. It's just like a collared dress. But I think this, also I just, I love this color right now and I know my mom loves this color on me too. Um, I don't know what time it is. It's like 7.30. Yeah, it's 7.30 this morning. Um, I have Pilates at 9.30. But before I go to Pilates, I just need to do a couple things around the house. Um, I need to um, do the dishwasher. I'm also going to listen to a sound bath. I didn't know that they have sound baths on Spotify. So I want to listen to a sound bath. I want to journal. I want to drink water. And I kind of just want to nourish myself this morning. Okay, so we're wearing Pilates. This, I think it's this from Lulu kind of old yeah it is from lulu white leggings from lulu i'm wearing high socks that i'll take off for pilates and i'm wearing an amazon tank i ordered all my groceries in time too for pilates i'm on a freaking roll can i sell them to like myself okay yeah it's gonna look exactly the same so yeah so it's like um it's a pdf download that you would import into um like good notes or evernote on an ipad where you can write over pdfs um yeah episodes shows um i was obviously at the studio i just got back and I'm gonna go for a walk in a little bit, but I'm gonna have lunch before I do. And also just answer a couple emails. Um, the studio is great, the class was so humbling, as always, which is like my favorite. Look, I got these brownies because they're so good. So I'm gonna make some because I ate all of them. Um, Babs has been like adding in so much like upper body, like pull up. They are so humbling. It is so hard to do a pull up. Maybe just me, like maybe I have like a weak upper body, but I don't know, man. It is so hard for me to do a pull up. I'm not ashamed about it. I'm excited to get stronger at it, but like every time we do any sort of like pull ups, I'm just like so humbled. <laughs> I love Pilates, it just makes me feel so good. And it's just like one of the best. I just love Pilates. While I was at Pilates, all of my groceries came, which is awesome so i'm just putting these away that was my lawyer on the phone i always sound so official when i say like that was my lawyer but it's nothing like that i'm not miss kylie jenner over here i just was um talking to my lawyer about planners today i signed up for hella fresh and i'm so excited um, because I just never know what to make for dinners. So I got some Hello Fresh. And I'm excited. So I get it next Tuesday. So I still had to like order a bunch of dinners for this week. Which was just funny to figure out. But yeah. Okay, yay. So I got this last night at Whole Foods. And I barely ate it. So I'm having it for lunch. And these are sesame noodles. They are so good. And then this is a cucumber avocado roll. And I take out the cucumber because I honestly just like the avocado. I have to do a start at home thing, edit a video and order merch for Phoenixville. Guys, I'm editing this video and I'm realizing that I never did an outro. So this is my outro of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I was posting some beauty vlogs and no one was like watching them. So I think you guys want vlogs more, which is totally fine. Just let me know. Um, so I'm definitely gonna be posting some more vlogs on here again, work from home, but also get ready because my summer content is like really amping up. Um, I'm moving to the beach in like next week. I'm going down to the shore. Um, so my summer content is going to be so fun. You guys will really get to like experience the beach life with me because I've never vlogged like a summer down the shore, like what I was saying earlier. So I'm really excited to do that this summer and I just can't wait for you guys to like see what I do every day. It's like so cute down there. But anyway, I love you guys. Have a great day. Thank you guys for watching this video. Be sure to, um, check out my link down below for fat fit fun use code tori d10 for 10 dollars off your first box and everything else will be linked down below that you guys might want to see in this video and yeah i love you guys bye